Good day, everyone. Welcome to Madam Tay Mathematic Class. Our today topic is Coordinates Part Two, Mathematics Year Five. Horizontal distance and vertical distance between two coordinates. Before I start the lesson, you must remember what is horizontal distance. Horizontal distance means you can move like this. Okay, can move to left to right, or you can move from right to left. Okay, gerak secara mengufuk. Boleh dari kiri ke kanan atau dari kanan ke kiri. Vertical distance is you can move up. Boleh bergerak secara ke atas. Okay. Or you can move down dari atas ke bawah. Like this. Okay. Boleh bergerak dari atas ke bawah. Now, look at this question. Horizontal distance and vertical distance between two point, two coordinate. So now the question is, what are the horizontal distance and vertical distance from the kitchen to room two? Okay, first. You need to identify which is the starting point and the ending point. Yang mana satu starting, yang mana satu ending. So, tengok soalan. From, maksudnya dari. Dari kitchen ke room 2. So, kitchen will be the starting point. And room 2 will be the ending point. So, now. Let's find out where is the kitchen in the diagram. Di mana ka kitchen? Okay, it's here. The coordinate for the kitchen is for zero. And where is the room two? Room two is here. The coordinate for room two is six five. So sekarang dari kitchen pergi ke room two. So gerak sekarang tengok ni one. Two, so two unit, and then bila sampai sini dia kena bergerak ke atas. One, two, three, four, five. So it's five units pergi ke atas. So we can write it as the distance from the kitchen to room two is two unit horizontally and. Five units vertically. Now the same diagram. The question is calculate the horizontal distance and vertical distance from room one to the dining area. So now which is the starting point and the ending point? The starting point is room one. And the ending point is dining area. So now let's find out where is the room one here. Okay, at here. And where is dining room? Dining room is down here. Dining room, the coordinate is zero, one. So now I have to start to move. Sekarang saya kena bergerak. Okay, now I cannot move to the right. Tak boleh bergerak ke kanan. Okay, sebab dining area berada di sebelah kiri. So now I have to move like this. One, two. So two unit. Now I have to move down. Kena turun ke bawah, baru boleh sampai dining area. So, gerak ke bawah. One, 
two, three, four. Okay, it's four units. Jadi, the answer is the distance from room one to the dining area is two unit horizontally and four units vertically. Next one, calculate the horizontal distance and vertical distance from point L36 to point M72. Now, which is the starting point and which is the ending point? This is starting point L and M will be the ending point. For the first method, I want to show you with a Cartesian plane. Saya akan tunjukkan cara dengan menggunakan Cartesian plane dulu. Ada dua cara ya. So, cara pertama, guna Cartesian plane. So, now I need to I need to mark point L and point M in the Cartesian plane. So, L is 3, 6, 3, 6 is somewhere is here. Okay? So, this is 3, 6. This is L. Next one, M, 7, 2. So, 7, 2 is here. Okay? So, now I have to move from L to M. So, I have to start from here. One, two, three, four. Okay, sudah sampai. Four. So, it's four unit. So, continue dari sini. Sambung. Saya kena turun ke bawah. One, two, three, and four. So, this is four units. The distance from point L to point M is 4 unit horizontally and 4 unit vertically. Alright, second method. Cara kedua, you list down the coordinate for the two point. Okay, senaraikan seperti ini. Uh, coordinate untuk dua titik L dengan M. So, the blue color is X. Remember not? Yang berwarna biru ialah X. X ialah horizontal distance. So, for the horizontal distance, the blue color, we just find the difference. Kita hanya cari beza antara dua digit ini. Yang besar tolak yang kecil. So, 7 minus 3 is 4 units. So, this is 4 units horizontally. Now, the red color. For the red color is vertical distance. So, sama juga besar tolak kecil. The bigger number minus the smaller number. 6 units minus 2 units. So, it's 4 units vertically. Okay? Next one, this question is in your textbook, page 237. Okay, let's look at the question. The horizontal distance and vertical distance from point L, A, B to point M, 1, 2, is 2 units horizontally and 3 units vertically. What are the values of A and B? Alright, soalan ini Coordinate untuk L tak tahu okay. Dari L bergerak ke M So, dia bagi uh, distance dia Jaraknya okay. Untuk horizontal distance is 2 units Untuk vertical distance is 3 units 
So, first method I will show you with Cartesian plane. Saya akan tunjukkan cara Cartesian plane dulu. So, first I mark point M in the diagram. Saya akan tandakan M dulu. L tak boleh tanda sebab L kita tak tahu koordinatnya. So, M is 1, 8. 1, 8. 8 atas sini. So, this is M. Okay. So, sekarang L kita nak cari L berada di mana. Okay. First one, from point M. Move 2 units horizontally and 3 units vertically. Dari point M. Bergerak 2 unit horizontally. So, gerak 1, 2. 2 saja. And 3 units vertically. Sekarang, saya kena turun ke bawah. Kenapa saya tak nak naik ke atas? Sebab dah tak muat atas ni kan? So, saya akan turun ke bawah. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so dah sampai sini. Yang ini adalah koordinat bagi L. Bila dah sampai sini, awak kena buat apa? Mark the point and write the koordinat for L. Bila sampai sini, awak kena tandakan titik and then labelkan koordinat bagi L. So, what is the koordinat for L? Kamu kena cari sendiri, cuba sendiri ya. Okay. For the second method, cara kedua, okay, kita juga boleh buat macam ni. List down point L and point M. List down the coordinate. Okay. So, saya dah buatkan warna biru. The blue color is X. X is horizontal distance. Okay. Horizontal distance. Sekarang awak kena cari A dengan 1 ni. Beza antara dua nombor ini adalah 2 unit. Okay. So, A minus 1, you will get 2. Alright. For the vertical distance, is the red color one. Okay. So, the same also. You find the difference between B and A. So, the difference is 3 units. So, awak kena cari beza antara uh, 8 dengan B. Bezanya adalah 3. So, what is B? So, bila dah dapat A dengan B, kamu boleh tuliskan koordinat bagi L. Okay? Jadi, itu sahaja untuk hari ini. That's all for today. So, happy trying. Selamat mencuba jawab soalan ini.